Hello guys, and welcome back for another deck review. Today I'll be doing a review on the Madison Rounders deck. Okay, so I did get some Davenports, and yeah, this is not available on that website, but you can pick it up um, at their shop in London, and I'll put a link in, in the description to their website, and a link also to where you can buy this deck online. And whilst I was there, I did also pick up the Madison's Dealers deck, which is also very nice, but I'll be doing a review of this at a later date. But let's start off with the outside of the box. So as you can see, this is a very simple design on the front. So in the centre you've got this um, space paper design. In the centre you have Madison Rounders written in white. And below they have Quality Playing Cards by Daniel Madison and Illusionist. Okay, so it's a very simple, not too detailed. And on the side you can see there's no writing whatsoever. And on the bottom you see that it says distributed by the Illusionist Playing Card Company and then made in USA. And then you can see that it has the Illusionist logo right there. On the top you can see that it has Madison Rounders. And then beneath the seal you can see that it has the um, Daniel Madison's logo. You can't really see it there but you can see a bit there above there. But um, yeah, this does have a custom seal which is very nice. You can't really see it now because I've ripped it open, but I'll just describe it now. But it is basically just a black seal with a white spade pip on, with saying Madison's rounders on the front, just like here. But you can see a little bit here. But um, yeah, here's the back design. We'll get into more information about this later on. And yeah, it's just getting inside. On the flap here, it just it's just white, and on the tabs is. On one it has JL, on the other it has PM. Not too sure what they mean. Don't know if they staff sign or if they're someone's initials or whatever. But let's get into the extra cards. As you can see, it is white inside. And yeah, let's get into the back design. Here is the back design. And yeah, it's very simple. And as you can see, it's got quite thin borders going all the way around the deck. And um, yeah, it's just filled with black. And at the top and the bottom, you have the Daniel Mad Daniel Madison's logo or emblem in white. And it's quite nice. Not too big. It's just like just the right size. And yeah, you can just get a look at that. It's very simple indeed. Okay, so let's get into the cards which you actually get. You do get a double backer. And yeah, this is pretty standard nowadays in new decks but um yes pretty nice you also get a illusionist advertisement card with the bat sign on pretty standard with illusionist decks and you do get two identical jokers here it is a very nice and detailed and i'll just go over them so at the top you see that it says the joker and then in the center we'll blubber down we'll, yeah. um, you have a crow or a blackbird, I think it's a crow actually, standing on a cutthroat razor, and he's just basically just standing there and chilling. But um, yeah, it's a very detailed and it's very nice artwork. You just get a closer look at that. And yeah, I very much like these jokers, and these are identical. And yeah, so let's get into the actual cards themselves. So as you can see, the Ace of Spades is very much like the front of the box right here. But so there's no need to actually go over that again. But beneath it has Cavet Empois. I think that's in another language. I'm not too sure what it means. But um, yeah. And then beneath that has the United States Planned Card Company. And then as you can see that the indexes are standard. And as you go through the black pips, they are standard. But when you hit the court cards, you'll notice that the colours are d darker, especially the um, especially the reds. And you'll notice that the faces are also different. And these are people who Daniel Madison actually knows, his friends and maybe his family, I'm not too sure. I don't know who they actually are, but um, yeah. You'll notice that the reds are also darker on the cards. And I'll just go through the court cards slowly. And I, and I do know that the King of Diamonds, this card here, is, the, um, is Daniel Madison. You may know that. This does look pretty similar to him, apart from he doesn't ha it doesn't show his black hair, which he does have, and yeah, 
you can also see that he has like this little cross on his hand not too sure if you see that but that Daniel Madison does have a tattoo of a cross on his hand so this is Daniel Madison on a card so this may be his favorite card not too sure but yeah so let's just continue so here's another one and yeah so those are the cards and a very simple design but I very much like this deck but um, so let's get into the actual hand on this deck so this deck spreads nicely you can see the thin borders showing up very well it fans nicely as well very easy to fan, I'm not too sure what the finish is on it though and springs nicely as well sorry um, and then cuts nicely as well Ruffle shuffles nicely as well, and yeah, it's how's great. It's a very smooth finish. I'm not too sure what it is, though, as I said before, but very nice. I recommend you go pick it up, and the designs are great. Um, I'll be doing a review of the Madison Dealers next, and yeah, so thanks for watching. There'll be a link down in the description of where you can get this deck, and a link to Davenport's website. Go check out Davenport's because I have some great magic tricks and decks available at their shop so go check them out and yeah don't forget to like this video subscribe if you're new and goodbye